hello and welcome to this affinity photo tutorial we're trying to get a sort of a cartoon and or a sort of comic book effect now I will say at the outset that this probably is not going to suit all pictures and also it may not be an effect that many people will be after in the first place um, but it just helps show what affinity photo can do and how to do it so I'm going to do this on three different images all from pixabay.com um, there's two portraits and one landscape um, so let me turn all these layers on and these are sort of the possible um, end results because if I turn off this one here you can either have a black and white version or a color version or if I turn off like the half tone option here you have a sort of more cartoony look rather than a comic book look and again you can have this in black and white or color so similarly with this landscape image here so you got the options of a lot of color and at this time I use the circular half tone option um, whereas I believe on this one I did the dots option and on this last image here if I turn all these on you have th you know this version here which is if I remember correctly um, it wasn't dots it was something else I can't remember now um, so again you can have a black and white version like that or if you turn the half tone off you can have like a color cartoony type image or a black and white version so I'm going to delete all of these layers here and just come back to the start image and like I said it may not work on all images it's a sort of what works best for you and all the settings is again what you want to get out of this so don't necessarily have to go 100% by my settings um, just what you would like so the first thing we're going to do is duplicate this background layer so I'm just right click on the layer and come down to duplicate now we're going to then come up to filters and detect and then detect edges and then we'll give it this sort of weird sort of image like this and then I'm going to come to layer and invert and you could use control and I or I think it's command and I on a Mac um, but just invert that layer and then I'm going to change this to overlay and as you can see we're already starting to get a sort of almost cartoony type look to this image now I want to add a black and white adjustment to this and I want it to be a child layer now there are various ways of making a child layer and you can go with the way that you feel best but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon up here and that will be insert inside the selection and that means once I've clicked on that the next thing I do will insert it inside the currently selected layer so I'm going to come to adjustments and black and white and as you can see that has made that automatically a child layer of the layer that I had selected so now I'm just going to sort of tinker with these settings and the nearer you, the further you come to the left with some of these colors the more sort of cartoony it will start to look because you're then bringing out the sort of highlighting the detect edges part of that layer above that it's attached to um, 
obviously if you go too far it will probably start to look more like a photograph again so it's a case of what suits your taste and what suits the image right I'm going to leave that there for now and I'm going to close that down I'm going to highlight the main layer there and again I'm going to click on the insert inside this time I'm going to use a live filter and I'm going to use half tone and as you can see that has inserted that again as a child layer of the layer above and you normally want to, well I've found that not, it's best to have a fairly low cell size and contrast again depends on your tastes and the image that you've got and you can have it now in monochrome color would be not too different because it's you got dot or round you, know, you can go for a sort of more comic book look but I'm going to go with so you got circular here which is okay and you have lines hopefully you can see those lines appearing on that image but I'm going to go back to monochrome and I think I'll go a cosine because then you can then get control of the contrast as well so let me just close that down so there you have a sort of more if I turn that half tone off a sort of more cartoon type looking image turn the half tone on we're starting to get more towards the comic book type image so if I highlight this top layer again and then add another black and white adjustment but as this will be added to the top and not as a child layer this will affect the whole image and because there is color in those images below this can be used to get whatever sort of effect you may want to go for um, you can make it as I don't know more scary than it probably originally was so if I turn off that half tone there you've got a sort of more of a almost like a pencil sketch type effect so just by varying which ones you turn on or off you can get different effects similarly with this original background layer a uh, layer that I converted in with detect and then inverted because it's set on overlay at the moment you can pick some of the other options and get even you know different effects depending on what you want to get out of this see hard light there is more like a pencil sketch so you can try all the different blend modes what's that one there yeah so I mean it's probably best in like the overlay soft light and vivid light maybe but I'll leave mine on overlay and it probably looks best in the color version in my personal opinion so that's a more sort of cartoony almost comic book you can only just about see the dots so you can play around with the various settings and which ones you turn on and off and what blend mode that you use so thank you for watching and goodbye